Start. Thing. Hello again. Welcome back to Legally Cited. This is BGFH back again for another iOS app video. And today I want to cover a music app. And it's actually one of my favorites as of right now, Slacker Radio. So let's jump right in. Slacker. All right. Slacker Radio. So Slacker. you may Slacker. be familiar Slacker. with, um, there, are, there are a lot of these types of apps available on Android and iOS. And you, like, you may be familiar with Pandora, Spotify, maybe even Slacker Radio. But there are just loads of these things. And I've really started to like this one. I've been playing with it now for a few months. And if you remember, I don't remember if I covered it on the channel or on my uh, blog, but... This was one of the apps where I just started learning it, and I really started liking it, and they did this uh, major update to it, and lo and behold, completely broke the accessibility. So, um, thankfully, I contacted the developer, and I actually kind of put in a post to AppleVis, and with with uh, my writing, and uh, we it ended up being a campaign of the month a few months ago. And thankfully, it didn't take them too terribly long. And with all that support, um, I'm happy to say that they remedied the situation and the app is now very nicely uh, accessible again. So, just goes to show you, like I said, you just uh, you never know. You just want to, if you find an app that you really want to check out or that you really like and it kind of breaks, uh, definitely write the developers and um, try to get that accessibility back. So, Slacker Radio is a, like I said, a, kind of an online radio station app. And what we have here, I'm just going to kind of give you an overview because I could, we could go on and on and on as far as what this app does. But settings. we start at the top. We've got a settings area, <clears throat> which I may pop into a little bit. Um, but you know, there's a lot of settings you can customize. You can do your account in there. Um, there's an option that I change, I, I switch it to night mode, which is what we're looking at here with the dark backgrounds. And I like that a lot better because by default it starts out as kind of this white backgrounds and these uh, blue tiles, which doesn't really look too bad, but I just, I think the, the darker background is easier on the eyes for me. So I turn night mode on. Um, and then there's like data connection stuff and, you know, different things like that. So there's a few options under there. If we have time, I'll maybe pop in there. Search we have a search, um, pretty self-explanatory, search for an artist or a song or whatever. We have now playing, now playing. so that just so quickly takes page. to my now playing page. New and trending button. New and trending, this is new just page. where, you know, pretty self-explanatory again, this is where they'll highlight some kind of new station that they're doing or one of their specific features. Like, I checked into this shortly before starting to record this video and they were starting to uh, advertise their sports, or their ESPN feature where, <clears throat> because football is right around the corner, the regular season, huzzah, uh, you can, you know, they were highlighting that to where you can customize that sports station, <clears throat> excuse me, to where you you can highlight the teams that you want to know about. So that's pretty sweet. Um, so they highlighted that there. Then you got these four bu big buttons um, down below. Genre stations. Button. Genre stations. And if I go in there, it's basically just like a list view Home. of, you know, naturally all the genres of music that you can kind of think of. We'll start at the top. Top stations. Top button. stations. Slacker spotlight. Button. Slacker spotlight. Alternative slash indie. Blues. Button. Chill. Button. Christian. Button. Classics. Button. Classical. Button. Comedy. Button. Country. Button. And they're alphabetized, so, so you kind of get the uh, you get the idea. Um, pretty self-explanatory. But let me go into Slacker Spotlight button. Slacker Spotlight, and the way a lot of these little um, screens work is you'll get a lot of these list views, and when you double tap on one of those, what happens is you kind of think of it almost like a tree view in Windows. Um, <clears throat> where when you double tap on those, some other options will pop out right below it. So now that I've opened the Slacker Spotlight. Slacker Spotlight, album of the week. Album of the week. The Slacker Top 40. Artist of the week, ESPN Music Rankings. Jason Derulo, I am the DJ. Okay. Show all. 
and they don't pop out all everything within the category a lot of times because usually there's there's a lot of different things under each category so you'll often see a little show all thing below they'll have like maybe five or six choices out there and then a uh, kind of a show all expand even more so um, I don't really play in the spotlight section too much because I'm not typically into modern music all that much I don't really oh, care for a lot of the pop and the rap and all that crap so I don't play in there but I do go you know I do kind of explore some of the genres and stuff like that so it's pretty cool go back to my home screen here my music button my music this is where we get a lot of music that we've covered uh, or that we that we can well let's go in there real quick home so in here recently played I got my recently played which is kind of nice my stations. My stations. So, so this section. What's nice is just like a lot of these apps like Pandora or Spotify or whatever, you build your own stations and then, you know, as you add artists or songs or you like or dislike songs, the station gets smarter and it tries to play the kind of music that you want to hear for that particular station. So that's kind of nice. So if I double tap on that, again, I get like a tree view. Comedy. Classic rock. I got a classic rock, a comedy, comedy, hard rock and metal, hard rock and metal, instrumental, instrumental. So you gathered I'm kind of a rock guy. Um, so yeah. And then there's like a show all bookmarked artists, Button. bookmarked artists. This so is this where, section. you know, naturally if you like to uh, really like a certain artist and you want to be able to pop back to them at any time, pretty sweet. You can actually do that. Um, I've done that a, favorite, for a favorite, couple favorite of them just to try to button. see how the feature worked. Favorite songs. Button. Uh, favorite songs button I can section. see there. Play favorite song station. And button. there's a button that says play favorite song station. So <clears throat> as you not not just for individual stations, but as you like and dislike songs, um, when you favorite them, it remembers the ones that you like, and then at any time you can play this favorite station which will kind of play the majority of you know obviously your favorites and then kind of throw in a few that seem to be like what you have as well so that's kind of nice um, and then down below there's just like you can Rose add um, it shows like a lot of your favorite songs that you've that you've Rose favorited um, and you can go to those or you can you know whatever Home. now I do want to mention Settings. That Button. with Slacker Radio, like a lot of these uh, services, there are multiple tiers. You can get the app for free, and you can listen pretty much, I think, as much as you want for free, but you're going to have ads. Not as bad as uh, mainstream radio, thank God, but there will still be ads. You can pay, I forget what the middle tier is called, um, maybe plus... Uh, but I think, so you can pay, I think it's like two or three bucks a month, and then you can get ad-free listening. <clears throat> so that's kind of nice. And I'm currently trying the premium membership, which adds a few more perks. So not only can I listen ad-free, unlimited ad-free, and I have also unlimited skips. Uh, in the lower tiers, they also sometimes limit how many skips per hour you can do if you don't like a uh, particular song. But um, the other perks that you get, and what's really cool about Slacker, even compared to things like Pandora uh, and some other services, is that <clears throat> you can use it as this kind of radio feature and kind of discover and build your own music. Or I can go up to the search field up at the top that we saw earlier and I can type in a certain song that I specifically want to hear I can type in a certain artist and then view that artist page and let's say I want to view that artist's catalog and I'll be like oh, I want to listen to this whole album you can do that or I just want to go <clears throat> look for an artist and say I just want to listen to a whole bunch of random songs by this artist uh, you can do that whereas on the lower tiers what you're limited to is you can look for an artist, and it could, the way it works is like you'll hear a song from that artist, and then you'll hear a, you know a few other songs by similar artists, and then every few songs it'll kind of come back and play another song from that artist. But if you want to hear you know specifically a certain album artist, or even a certain song, 
Uh, you can play any of those things on demand, which I find is really cool because I use it as a combination of, like, I'll, I'll use this or Pandora or anything else where I'll be listening to a radio station, I'll find some artist that I've never really heard of or I haven't heard in a long time, I'm like, I want to listen to more of that. So then I pop into Slacker and I just do a search for that artist and start listening by album. And like I said, especially if it's a new band, I can discover, well, is it just that one song that I like? Or is it, hey, is this artist actually pretty good? And I found a few of them that are like that. So kind of a neat way to go there. Specialty stations. Our bottom Button. two buttons, we got a specialty new stations. <clears throat> and news, slash, talk, slash, sports. news talk, and sports. So new that's page. pretty self-explanatory. You can go to a whole bunch of categories of sports or news and talk radio. Um, I'm going to go to this other one really specialty quick, stations. though, these specialty right. stations. Oh, Here is where button. you're going to get... Um, Decade slash countdowns. Artist specials. Artist button. special. These are things that Sugar kind of section. show in and out. It kind of think of it maybe like XM radio, where they'll do, like, if somebody, if an artist is coming out with a new album, maybe they'll create a station of like, oh, this, this band has been around forever, so we're going to do uh, a station of all that artist, or the top... 20 of this artist or insp inspired by this artist or covers or something. Artist special. Classics. Classics. Decade slash countdowns. So if I go in there, I can choose like, so this section. let's say I want 80s and I want 80s rock or 80s pop or 70s whatever. I mean, you can choose any kind of thing and drill down that way. Holidays. Button. Holidays. Music festivals. Music Button. festivals. New music first. Partners. Button. Special events. Button. Summer. Button. So if I go into summer, um, I, I did go into there not too long ago, and one of the things they had is they had, um, they have a whole bunch of, like, summer theme stations. So, um, I think they had, like, I think the one I tried was Rock and Barbecue or something like that. So they, you know, just good old, you know, some uh, rock station for grilling out there. So that was kind of neat. Summer. Button. Um, earlier Should on they had section. one that was, uh, like, the top, what was it, top? 50 or top 70 some metal metal songs of all time that was kind of cool so you just got to check in there periodic periodically and see what they have available so there's a lot to this station i mean i you know and or there's a lot to this app and service so they do have a desktop uh computer page that you can go to, which I haven't really played with a whole lot, but to my limited experience, it doesn't seem super accessible, but I, like I said, it changes all the time, and I haven't played with it a while, because I pretty much use this stuff on my phone, but, um, you know, like I said, I could go on and on and on going into every feature, but like I said, I just want to give you an overview of kind of why I like this app, and what it does, and all those kinds of things, so... That is a rough overview of Slacker Radio. One thing that I will say that I really like Ready. and why I, th I like Slacker Radio a lot right now is because I started out listening to like Pandora, and I'll cover that a little bit when we go into the Pandora app too because I do want to show that briefly as well, is that you have all this other functionality. It's not just like radio or ad-free radio. You can play stuff on demand. Um, they have another feature that I haven't even explored yet where you can cache certain things. So if you're going to be on an airplane or without data for a while, if you're a premium member, you can cache things locally for a while. You can cache a station so that it's just on your device for a little while. Um, and there's all kinds of little hidden things that I keep discovering about the app that seem pretty powerful. So... Um, definitely worth looking into if you, you're looking for another music app. So until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Stop. Button.